Live from Don't Ever Bank Your Field in Cracks and Skull, Florida, it's time for some mutant football. It's hard for me to figure out what my favorite part of coming to Florida is. The best part of Florida is leaving so you can read the headlines instead of witnessing them. This is the only place that the nuclear wasteland actually improved. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the Cracks and Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants knock cold, their brains turn into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. And the real game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. The kicker died on that play. Hey, that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high risk ball. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. First and ten. That run is good for ten yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. First down and five. Second down and ten. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Now 
Well, it should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. Second down and two. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. And like Rex's bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Touchdown! And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. Second down, and, he, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Starting to go somewhere, but he gets stomped after three. They usually oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Third down in the QB, and the defense jumps on sides trying to meet, and the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. Third down and eight. The defender says, it's mine, and he comes to First and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Second down and ten. He is fighting for every yard. Man, guy's like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. First and four.
And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. You know, letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope for him. First them, then vampires, then mermaids. Then before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wynn, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, a few low expenses, that is. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. And that pass is good for about five yards. Second down and five. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. He turned into a mutant fireball with that flame on dirty trick. And anything he touches gets floppy. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course, wearing that moo. Is she gonna dry clean that before she gives it back to me? He 
might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I mean, and anything really tastes good. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend, I didn't. I love this job. Oh, boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy. He could go all the way. The 10. He scores! And coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. Glad this, glad this. Ah, shit. And it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> you know, Bricks, when the ref is faster than your football team, you've got some serious issues. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps off side to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. First down and five. And the other said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. the punt. What a pussy. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. He zings it in there for a four-yard gain. Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, the Roid Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a ramp and into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. <laughs> and it's first and ten.
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Second down and two. A Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Second down and ten. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to block the them. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Third down and three. Catch that. I don't catch anything, Rim. I'm retired. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick. And he's got a chance. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Hot <laughs> two. Hot three. And he punches his way out of that tackle. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel, but... The warning sounds only two minutes left in the first half. And it's first and ten. 
And the defense gets another pick. Man, and that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Hot two, three. At this rate, the QB's gonna have more interceptions than completions. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. That's why we love the MFL. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! First down and nine. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have... This guy's a brick shithouse. And he sends him to the ground with an... Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Hot one. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock blocked the clock. Second down in a lot. One. I don't know whose eyes they Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Ben, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 30. And he put the Jets on and caught him from behind. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm, that's bleak, Bricks. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay.
close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsanto Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic per And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, yeah. they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the Crux and Skull jugulars seem to have run out of people to kill and win this one by forfeit. I should have known they'd know about anatomy. What with their name and all? I didn't think they'd actually pull the other guys apart and demonstrate it, though. This was practically a science show. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. An alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.